Welcome, Dr. James Beckett, Sports Card Insights. Another episode for YouTube. Uh, just short, five, six, seven minutes, showing cards on one of the uh, another panel for my card wall that I can. They're removable. The cards are removable. The panels are removable. So, uh, as you'll see, but this uh, group is from Day to Deerdorf. So they're all D, starting with Leon Day. You can see this is autographed. It's one of the Ted Williams cards from the Ted Williams Company. It's crimped, autographed. It presents very nicely, and he'll be in there for a while. I don't think that he's he's a representative of the Negro Leagues, but I've also got you know prominent uh, Satchel Paige, Jackie Robinson. Uh, but on the other hand, it's nice to have uh, coverage there, and my uh, baseball knowledgeable friends uh, may appreciate that. So he'll be on there for a while. Uh, my sponsors are pretty much uh, got them down. Uh, Dizzy Dean, uh, I listened to him uh, when I was a boy, and he was on the Game of the Week with Pee Wee Reese. My dad actually saw him play. He was a great player. He got injured toward the end. They made a movie about him, and he's got other cards that I could, you know, batter ups, and he's got a uh, even a, including a card with his brother Paul. But I thought this this is a little bit more obscure card, Tattoo Orbit, in spite of a 1.5 condition. It's still a pretty, pretty rare card. Uh, Dave DeBusher, if I had unlimited space, I would do Dave DeBusher uh, baseball and football, uh, but I don't. And so, I unfortunately, instead of deciding whether I'm going to use which, whether I'm going to use a baseball or a basketball, and basketball was his a dominant sport where he was uh, better in one sense, I think he's going to get bumped out. I think he's going to get bumped out, but not because he wasn't great, but because others potentially were greater. And he doesn't get a lot of hobby love either. Ed Delahanty, uh, the, he's been on the wall for the last five or six, seven years, as long as I've had it, uh, eight or nine years. I don't, it, nobody's ever asked me about it. And good, because he has a very sad story. So why do I want a sad story on my happy card cave wall. So I think he's going to be out and I don't think I'll replace it with another. He he has only really tough cards because he really had such a uh, untimely demise. So he's only got very old, very difficult, very expensive cards. Uh, Jack Dempsey, uh, this card actually was my dad's. So my dad's, this is, it says two and a half, 2.5, but it's still a pretty decent card. So it's one of the uh, one of the ones for my dad. So I'll always keep this card, but I may not use it on the wall because I've got other sport kings. I may use this this uh, way more obscure uh, Metropolitan Opera, Opera House card, even though it's in uh, lesser condition. It's not in as horrible condition until you look at the upper right corner and you see that it got a corner, not just rounded off, but kind of uh, torn off a little bit. So uh, the Sport Kings card presents better and it was my dad's. But uh, and I, so I'll just hold on to it. I may swap them out. There's nothing stopping me from uh, keeping uh, Jack Dempsey on there and and uh, ro rotating it out a little bit. Eric Dickerson, uh, younger than me, but he was the Pony Express from SMU. So really brought a lot of uh, notoriety <laughs> and uh, to to SMU. Um, and this is a test issue, so a little bit a little bit tougher. Could use his rookie card, uh, but. Uh, Something like that. Bill Dickey, 52 tops, high number. Probably going to delete him. As you can see from my uh, thoughts on this as I express them, I'm really trying to get coverage. Well, I've got other great catchers. I've got plenty of Yankees. And I've got several other 52 tops, uh, including uh, you'll see Eddie Matthews uh, in a few months or whenever I get to it. So I think Bill Dickey won't be... Uh, won't be there for long, but for now, it's a it's a nice card. It's it's a tough card, and and I enjoy having it. Uh, Dan Deerdorf, uh, this is another example of what I've said. Be careful thinking that college cards are no good, because when NIL uh, keeps coming on stronger and stronger, perhaps then cards like this, even when they were done after the player's career, but legends from that from that particular uh, university, especially those who had great careers as well as who had uh, uh, announcing uh, careers. Uh, this this may be a good card. Uh, and so it's on the wall for a while, and, and we'll see. And, so, and then lastly, Skylar Diggins, uh, just to have a, a female representation. She was the star of the Dallas Wings 
uh, for a while there. One of my buddies is one of the part owners of the wings. He's done very well with his uh, investment, but she was the big draw, left-handed kind of a model, you know, good looks, and uh, but uh, you know, but it's a business. So, um, and when when my friend comes over, uh, I he actually has his own uh, memorabilia museum for for music and movie uh, stuff. And so, but when he comes over, I can show him that I've, I'm honoring him by having a Skylar Diggins card, among other things, because he's a sports fan too. So thanks everybody. That's it.